So welcome back everyone, Mike and Melissa here today. If you notice, today's video is called Name That Tune Chainsaw Edition. And I kind of remembered a TV show from back in the 80s, Name That Tune. So we're kind of showing our age here a little bit. Uh, I don't really remember watching it a whole bunch, but I, I do. Do you? Yeah, at my grandma's. At your grandma's house? Yeah. What else did you watch in the 80s? Well, I think it started in the 70s, but it was Name That Tune, Lawrence Welk. I don't know. Also had a show. We watched The Dukes of Hazard. We watched Archie Bunker. Yeah. The Jeffersons. I loved growing up in the 80s. I graduated I high school too. in 84. And uh, believe it or not, nobody's going to believe this. Melissa's only a couple years younger than me, right? A couple? You're like three and a half years younger than I am. Uh, we met, Tons. actually. She worked at a pizza shop in town because she went to a different school than I did. And uh, I drove by this pizza shop one day and I see this huge, beautiful 80s hair in the window there working at the counter. And I'm like, I gotta order pizza. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you had the big hair back then, didn't you? I, I loved it. I had it today, but he said, don't do that. There won't be room for me. And so I had to put my, my hat on. Yeah. So yeah, she had the big 80s hair. Actually, I have a picture of that here. I'll show you that right now. So that picture was from 1980 something. I don't know what, but we had a lot of fun growing up. We really did. And I think it was the perfect time to grow up because well, one of the main reasons is there weren't, weren't cell phones and you know, every little aspect of your life wasn't recorded like we do today, but we do things a lot smarter than we did then. Like uh, some of this dumb stuff my friends and I did. I mean, you'd basically be unemployable if there were cell phones back then recording everything you did. So I. I really enjoyed, you know, growing up in the 80s and and so much has changed since then. I mean, I remember I used to play a lot of baseball and, you know, we would go to games, you know, 10, 12 miles away and we would all ride in the back of the coach's pickup truck. No big deal. I mean, nobody ever got hurt, you know, too bad or anything. Yeah. And uh, now that would be like on national news that some coach, you know, endangered these little league players or something in the back of a pickup truck. But everything's just different now. Some things stay the same. But a lot different. Route. I had a paper out. Oh, did you? Yeah. I know because we've heard this story when she tells the kids all the time about her paper out. I do. I talk about my paper out all the time. <laughs> it yeah. was like four and a half miles long, and the houses, there's only like, you know, 12 houses. <laughs> <laughs> you were making bank. I was. It was so great this time of year because it's Christmas time and you get like a Christmas bonus. I mean, a $5 tip and a Christmas card was like the, the best. greatest thing in the world. But anyway, we're spending too much time reminiscing and rambling on about the 80s. Is there anything else that stands out that you liked about the 80s? The music, the fashion, I'd totally bring it back. Yeah, there was um, some good music back then. I think the good thing about just reminiscing is like, I probably, well, I know I can still fit into some clothes from the 80s. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't fit into clothes from the 80s. You wouldn't want to see me wearing them. But anyway, we're going to get into today's video. Uh, so today's video is called Name That Tune, and uh, we have kind of a surprise for you that we're not going to show you just today. It's kind of a mystery chainsaw, okay? So if you've been following our channel, you know that I have used a Steel 036 for years and years. Recently got a MS-362 chainsaw, and now we have another one. And what we're going to do here today, we're going to fire each one of these saws up, and uh, I'd like you in the comments you know, to comment which saw you think it is. So the first two is going to be easy. The 036, it has a very distinct sound, and the MS-362. But the third chainsaw, I don't know if you've ever heard one before, and I want you to listen to it. We'll rev it up a little bit, and uh, in the comments below, let me know, you know, what you think that chainsaw is. And you can actually do like a one, two, three. You know, what the first one was, second one was, and the third saw is, right? I wouldn't have told them the first two. Well, they know what saws I use, so they're going to figure the first two out. Third one they've never seen before. You'll see that in the next video, and I'm pretty excited about it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to fire one of these saws up. You're just going to have to sit here and look at Melissa because you're not going to see the chainsaw and enter in the comments what you think it is. Okay. 
Gotta put on my safety gear. Safety first. Can't see the chainsaw in there, right? No. Okay, what chainsaw do you think that was? That was number one. Name that tune, Chainsaw Edition. The chainsaws are all downstairs. Chainsaw number two. Chainsaw number two. Okay. I was downstairs helping Mike. Okay. Okay. Now it's time for the mystery chainsaw. Mike's pretty excited about this. Let us know in the comments below what chainsaw you think this is. And you'll see it in the next video. You'll see it in the next video. That is the mystery chainsaw. It's the mystery chainsaw, not my new dirt bike. <laughs> Speaking of the 80s, I had, I had a dirt bike, Honda 125. All right, so I hope you heard them okay. This is a uh, shotgun mic on this camera, but I'm sure you picked up the sound pretty well. So in the comments below, let us know. There are three chainsaws there. You know I use an 036, you know I use a 362, uh, but guess what order they were in? And also take a stab at uh, the what that mystery chainsaw was. I'll give you a hint on the Mystery Chainsaw. It is a steel product, so I will actually put a link uh, to Steel's Chainsaw section in the description. You can kind of go through there, look at all the saws, and take a stab at which model you think the Mystery Saw is. Do you have anything else to add? Nope. You good? You'll see it in the next video. Yeah, next video. I don't like to do like unboxings and all that stuff. when and not familiarize myself with uh, things before I show them on here. I'm just the way I am. Uh, but I'm going to do a little homework and use it a little bit. And, and then uh, the next video there will be on the Mystery Chainsaw. But anyway, uh, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. Uh, click subscribe and the little bell icon there beside it so you get notifications. 
and share them with your friends. Thanks. I'm gonna go check on the chainsaws.